Greetings from the frozen tundra of Slam Bone Field in Grim Bay, Wisconsin, where legends like Slips Bombardi and Threat Carve thrilled crowds stuffed with beer and cheese. We're sure to see some more classic action today if time doesn't freeze. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Newtons, I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Oh, va 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 boom And it's first and ten. Three on a short pass. Second down and seven. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Second down and long. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and, well, good luck. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Third down and six. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought they snagged. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. The defensive players go berserk. Great play by the defense for 
results in a... Okay, keep a good mutant down! His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score! He's at the 10! Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! <laughs> it's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just asking. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Man, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife anymore, Brick. Second down and a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down and forever. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. 
And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit! Second down and seven. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, my. <laughs> First down and three. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose instead they're in a dead heat tie game at the end of one they need a good return here to set up the offense not a bad kick but not a great one either well it's Nick Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he pumps his way out of that. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Second down and two. First down. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And Will Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Person. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> 
First down in a mile. Come on! And the quarterback on and the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, he just got crushed. Third down and the punter is warming up. You've got to catch that. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll be second down and four. First and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Second down and ten. Picks up eight yards on a strong run. Third and two. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. points and let's move on when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, get that! Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And that 
it's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandpa. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. Third down and six. move baby no you didn't you know why i'm too fast for you i'm the greatest the greatest i tell you <laughs> the defense calls a timeout to stop the clock they have two left it might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal this is way too long he's got the distance and the kick is good the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he breaks away. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and two. That's how you run the football. First down. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, oh, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. Yeah, man, I was here on the now. <laughs> here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, Here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, just keep pounding. 
running the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. up seven yards right there. Second and three. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Excuses for this QB. Oh, and he just exploded like Humpty Dumpty. What a mess. Tell me about it. Looks like Humpty Dumpty did a little Dumpty Dumpty in his pants when he got hit. Eh, can't blame him. Well, the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. That's when small talk is really put to the test. And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle him with a bonfire. And I have skin. <laughs> and these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And it plows forward for the two-point conversion. Why didn't the skeleton dance in the rap club, Grim? Yeah, I don't know. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> And they just smacked that one back in his face. Third down and eight. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Tell our viewers. 
sure is what you would do, Briggs. Ah! And that was well played. The defense anticipated a pass. And put they need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Grim. These guys are doing fine by themselves. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. Nice deflection. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Get your motor running. It's chainsaw time. First down and six. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second down and four. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tap. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. and hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show.
And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right under. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You're going to wreck it. They're going for two points. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. And this guy has quite the female following. Listen to them. Yeah, they all want to jump his bones. I wish the male linebacker would have jumped his bones. I just locked a saw buck on that play. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Intercepted. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that. Uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the up. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And with another pick, the 
QB says, I don't know. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Second down and four. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> keep some time on the clock for their offense or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller second down and six and it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it you gotta keep your eye on the ball come on you dirtbag you gotta make that catch third down and six At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it.
when in a hurry up offense the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock man what a hit that was second down and that'll be their final timeout second down and long ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and, well, good luck. <laughs> and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. <laughs> a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. Oh, with the brutal hit! Third down and long. The defense looks hungry out there. The quarterback better watch himself. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type of... Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The attackers attack the opposition to a bloody pulp and are victorious today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Spandles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm-hmm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Hey, okay, go back to him. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...